Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Ignite Kids to Sunday. It's Advent week three, so let's get ready to have some more Christmassy fun. <laughs> and welcome to Ignite Kids to Sunday. It's week three. We're getting closer. Week three of Advent, everybody. I'm sure you're all getting excited because we are now approaching the last week of school before our week's uh, countdown to Christmas. Have you been opening up your Advent calendars? Uh, I hope you are all having fun learning about the Christmas story and that's what we're going to be continuing with a little bit later on. We're also going to have some Christmas fun with Bob and me a bit later as well. And first, we're going to sing our song. So I think we should do All the Angels Sing. So it's All the Angels Sing. So let's stand and sing. Christ has come to a manger bed. Mary laid him there. Come and fill the sky with shouts of praise. Lift your voice with me and sing, 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 sing. Next week, is the week before, of 
And that is Christmas Day. That's Christmas Day. Yeah. Which week? With that. Week four and then Christmas Day. Or is week, it the same thing? Week four and then Christmas Day. Oh, we're so close, boys and girls. I'm super so excited. Close. I wonder, have you got your trees and decorations up? I've had mine up since the start of December. We've finally got ours up. Finally. It's taking yeah. a long enough. Yeah, well, we don't like to rush these things. Oh, I love it. It has to be, yeah. I Sometimes like it. You get fed up with it. Oh, I love it the whole time. So, Jack. This right. week, okay. The word is okay. Happens. 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 Do you think it's a strange word by itself? Happens. So I have a question. Go on. Then. Has anything ha- exciting happened to you? <coughs> well, a few weeks back. Well, it's, it's over. Well, over a month ago now, actually. Okay. I went on holiday, Ooh. and there was something really exciting that happened on my holiday. What happened on your holiday? I found the best bin in oh, the world. Oh, not the bin! Best bins in the world. If you ever want to see the greatest bins <laughs> in the world, go to Portugal. They've got these incredible bins. You put stuff in them, and they make noises. It's amazing. It was so exciting. So the best thing about your holiday was a bin? Yeah. No, not one, not two, three. A three bin. bins, three bin. bins. Yeah, it was amazing. That's crazy. What about you? It might be different to that. Go on in. So the most exciting <coughs> thing that's happened to me is I was baptised. Now, if you don't know what that is, we have a big pool, not a big pool, like a, a pool, we call it's it, a, pool. a church. And when I said to everybody, I love Jesus and I want to follow him and I want to show all of you, they take me, right, this is me, and they dunk you in the pool and they bring you up again. And you're baptised. That was actually an exciting day for me as well. Yeah, because you baptised me. Because I got to do it. So actually, that I can have that one as an exciting Very day. Very exciting. Because, although, I just want to say, the bins were really amazing. <gasps> My baptism was so Baptism, exciting. number one, bins. Okay, let's stop talking about bins. Okay. And let's find out. I'm hoping you have another story for I me. have got another story. It's a great story. Who's it about? <coughs> <coughs> it is the greatest story ever told. The greatest story? Bar none. Bar none. The greatest ever story. Greatest. Well, what about number this? one. Number one. Greatest story. But it's not Easter. Well, this is, they call this the greatest story ever told. Oh, do they? Yeah. Because it's the story of Jesus. <gasps> the Jesus. The whole story. The whole story. So the whole story of Jesus is the greatest story ever told. And this is like part one of it. Part one. Part one of the greatest story ever told. Okay, go ahead with it. You tell me the greatest Okay, so the story goes a bit like this. So we know that Mary was the mother of Jesus, okay? Yes. But Mary and Joseph, they were going to be married. Okay. Okay. And they found out that Mary was going to have a baby before that happened. <gasps> All right. But it's okay, because Joseph was a good guy. Oh, it's okay. And he said, it's okay, I'll bring, I'll bring the baby up. Oh, that's good of him. I'll bring the baby up. Now, <clears throat> during that time, the guy that was in charge, uh, Caesar Augusta, he mm. wanted to count everybody, which was oh. a little bit awkward. You'd think that's easy. Okay, one, two, sorted. But actually, what they did was they made a law, and the law was that anybody that was going to be counted had to go back to their original place of birth. Oh. So for me, I was born in Wales. Okay, so if I if it happened now, I would have to travel all the way oh. back to Wales just, just to for them to go one. That's annoying. Right. And then I'd have to travel all the way back. Okay. That's a faff. That is a faff. Okay, now. Now, Joseph, his family was from Bethlehem. Okay. And Joseph and Mary lived in Nazareth. Now, Nazareth oh. is in the north, and Bethlehem is kind of like further south. Oh. Okay, so they had to travel all the way to... There was no aeroplanes, there was no buses, there was cars. Yeah, what? They would have had to walk. At a push, oh. there might have been a donkey, but it doesn't say that in the Bible, okay? What? And she was pregnant? And she was like, she was about to oh, give birth. Okay? Did they make it? They did make it. They get to Bethlehem, okay, and you can imagine it's really busy because yeah. everybody is there for the count. Well, they call the count a census. Oh, we have them. A census, okay. <clears throat> so everybody's there, there's hustle and bustle, and they're all trying to find somewhere to stay. Now, Joseph and Mary, they need to find somewhere to stay really super fast. Quickly. Because Mary says to Joseph, I think the baby's coming. <gasps> Okay, no, not... they didn't have hospitals, so what? they would get, they would have the babies at home, and so Joseph's there. Excuse me, Mr. Innkeeper, is there any space? No. Ugh. Four. What? I know. Excuse me, Mr. Innkeeper, any space? No. Four. 
and this went, on, this went on and on, until eventually they found a stable. Now a stable is somewhere where animals sleep. And Joseph's like, well, this is the best we can do. We have got to have, uh, we've got to stay here. We've got to stay here. So uh, that's what they do. They, uh, they kind of get into the stable and Mary gives birth to the baby Jesus. In a stable? In a stable. Around animals? Around animals. But it would smell. I know, but what they did was they wrapped the baby up in like some cloth and then they put him in a manger. A manger? In that's some, one of them? Yeah, one of them. One of them, like that, yeah. And so they put him in a manger and that's where he stayed. And he, oh. he was nice and warm and all snuggly. So he, he was okay? He was, he was fine. Even though he didn't have hospital? No, he didn't have hospital. Or bed? Or bed. Or room? Or room. So was it, would it make cold? Well, I'm thinking not so much. You see, Israel is quite a warm country. Okay. It does get cold in the evening, but actually they were all snugly warm inside the stable, so they were fine. Hmm. Baby Jesus born? I mean, stable. baby Jesus. From yeah. what I know, he is the son of God. He is, the son he of God. is a king. He is a king. And yet he's born in a dirty stable. It happens. It happens. Happens. It happens. I mean, that's a crazy thing to happen. It is a crazy thing to happen. He's but like, he's Jesus. He's Jesus. But he's born with the animals. I know. And there you go. Crazy. Should we pray? I think we should. Do you want to pray? I'd love to pray. Okay, let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for another story. It's the greatest story ever told. That you sent your son, Jesus, to earth for all of us. And we pray that this week you will help us to remember that as we build up to Christmas, that the real reason we're celebrating is because you sent Jesus. Amen. Amen. So there you go. But that's just the start of the story. There's still more. There's more. And we'll get that next week. Oh, I can't wait. I know. Uh, We'll see you next week. Bye. Ignite Challenge. Now today's Ignite Challenge is to finish off the suit. Ah. Oh, so we're, not, we're both wearing Santa hat and we've got Santa clothing here and we've got to be the first one to get the suit on. To be honest with you, I think it's going to be Robin. But I've taken my shoes off already. Oh no, I've still got my boots on. Ah. Anyway, rookie mistake. That's what we're going to do. The first person that's dressed is the winner. Uh, Robin's already won one game, so I'm thinking. Uh, seeing oh, the just though. It was a close. It call. was a very close snowball fight. Okay, so are you ready? Yes. Steady. Go. <laughs> today's story and I've enjoyed playing the have a go with the games have a go with the games and see if you can do them too uh, Robin is seriously better at these than me but it doesn't matter it's the joining in that uh, is the the best thing so tomorrow is our last ignite life group if the weather is fine we'll get the old uh, 
we get the old uh, burner out and uh, yeah we'll have some fun with uh, with our uh, yeah with our fire and uh, if it's raining then we won't we'll just have some uh, hot chocolate and fun indoors uh, on friday is our last ignite extra so uh, we'll have a time of games and just have some christmas silliness next friday at 6 30. okay so it's now time for me to pray and then it's time for you to go and do some lovely things as a family so let's pray let's wiggle our fingers ready one two three lord god we thank you so much that we can learn about christmas and i pray for all the boys and girls today that they would yeah remember the story of christmas in all of the fun in jesus name amen Amen. Okay, everybody, we'll see you next week. Have a great last week at school. Bye.